Advocates are encouraging people to cast their ballots during the state's early voting period. Yeah, the push comes after a recent report by Think Tennessee found our state had the lowest voter turnout in the nation during the 2022 midterm elections. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains uh, and the efforts to improve it. The process is simple. You go in, you give them your license or your identification, they give you a card, you go put it in the machine and you vote. But the people who do it in Tennessee are the minority. While our voter turnout rates have been consistently low over the last 20 years, um, this is the first time we've ever been in last place. Not even 40% of registered Tennessee voters cast a ballot in November 2022, the worst voter turnout in the country, according to a recent report by Think Tennessee. The Nashville-based nonprofit Think Tank says one of the reasons why was the lack of choices. Our elections across the state are not very competitive. According to the data, more than half of the state legislative races in November 2022 only had one person running. And that problem plays into a vicious cycle. Not as many people People are voting, not as many people are running, and it just sort of continues to be this sort of vicious downward cycle. And I think the only way that we can sort of turn that tide is by, you know, more people voting, more people getting involved, more people running for office, and um, really showing folks that this is something that's important to us as Tennesseans and we want to be able to be engaged. But certain laws may be making it harder for some to cast a ballot in the volunteer state. Tennessee is one of only two states that require voters to mail in their absentee ballots versus dropping them off in person. 35 other states and D.C. allow voters more time to register compared to Tennessee, where registration closes 30 days before an election. Think Tennessee, pushing for legislative change and more voter education to increase turnout in Tennessee. Yes, yeah, sometimes our choices aren't always great, and sometimes the systems aren't made as easy as we would like them to be, but it's an incredible privilege to be able to vote for our elected leaders, and as much as we can encourage each other to participate in the election systems, that will make our democracy that much stronger. Happy voting. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Think Tennessee also tracked Tennesseans' calls into the National Election Protection Hotline during the 2022 midterms. They found around 60% of callers were asking for basic info, even where their polling location is. The other 40% reported a challenge, including not being able to cast a ballot because they had not registered to vote in time and not being able to cast an absentee ballot because they had not registered online.